So for me, it was an opportunity as a team to really step off campus and feel part of a larger community of independent schools. And that was really what hit home for me. Um, I, I come from a journalist background where you're always sort of on the outside looking in and never really partaking and participating. So for, to come to that place and be surrounded by people with common goals and like us. Like us, yes. It, it felt like I was part of a larger community and that really brought our small team of four to a place where we, we really could swap ideas and um, you know trade secrets if you will and really become part of a larger community and that really felt pretty pretty great. And to I felt me. like it helped us bond as a team since we all were new kind of starting out in our department for us to like get away away from our department and our school and just be together as a group and collaborate and figure out where we want to take our goals to the next level. It was great mm -hmm. to do that in another place because you wouldn't be able to get the context and the, the time to really mm -hmm. sit down and do what you needed to do if we were still in our office. We'd be distracted. So it was nice. And it was a beautiful place to be distracted. Yeah, that's absolutely true. It showed how each of us kind of touch the school in our different ways, but how we can actually come together and work it as a team for the better of the school. And as communications, you know, I got to kind of work more closely with annual fund directors and, and, and crews that actually see what they do on a daily basis and how what I do every day sort of intersects with that. And it's a much more group effort now, I think, for annual fund alums and advancement and myself. One of the things I got so many good ideas in that conference, and in my action plan, I had so many things that I wanted to do. And when I met with my mentor, he said, "Pick one or two things your first year, and and excel in that. And then each year you can add another thing that you wanted to do. Like I wanted to like jump out of the gate and just do everything in my first year." And, and he suggested that if you want to be successful, pick the one or two things that you got from this conference, and then build on that every year. And I really took that to heart. I, w I would absolutely recommend it to my peers. I think where I was in my career at that time, which was my first year in independent schools, it was very helpful. Um, it's it's a lot of work. It's you know it's, it's you go and you're there to learn and you're there to grow and you're there to make connections and really um, leave in a beautiful place. In a beautiful place. Um, but it was it you was get a packet of work, but like before you go to the conference, it helps like what you put into it before you go is what you're going to get. Absolutely. At, yeah. When you yeah. come back out. So like do the work up front, do the work while you're there, mm -hmm. and when you leave, yep. you'll have your plan for the next one to two, three yep. years, depending on how you invest yourself in the process.